<clears throat> Welcome back. So now you know a bit about um, action methods, action selectors, about controllers. So now you have a basic starting point. Uh, I, yeah, I'm just going to remove the HTTP post here again. We will get back to forms soon. But uh, right now I just want it to be able to be a get request. And now, now I want to do something else. I want to add a list in here so we can actually start adding multiple persons to just in memory right now, but actually add something looking more like a real application. So what I want to do is I want to actually start up here to make uh, just a local list. Um, and in that list, I want to add a person class. Now, I haven't created the person class yet. And you know, if you want to make that, I could just go over here on the models because this is a business entity and right click and say add new class if I want to. But there's a uh, reshop actually has another way to do it. So let's try and use that. I, instead, I'm going to select this guy, control dot. And then it pops up with this huge list here of choices. Now, if you go down to generate type and say generate a new type like this, it'll pop up with this. I feel it's pretty cool thing. You can you can just add the information that you want to put in there. And I want to make this a public class. Um, it could have been internal since I'm only using it here right now, but we are going to pull it out later. So let's make it public. And the project is going to be the project I'm in. And then it's going to uh, create a new file. And where do I want to place that? Well, I want to place it inside models slash, and then I'll call it person.cs. There we go. That should do the job. Let's try and say okay here. And let's see if I can figure it out. So down in the models, there's a new person's CS file, and it's added it right here because it's also adding um, a using to the person models right here. So everything is up and running. Very, very simple way to also generate classes. Now it took a few clicks for me, but you can do it faster when you get used to the syntax. Okay, so by the way, I want this list to be private because I don't want anybody else to use it right now. And then when you do a private list, you actually should name it like this. This is the one of the standards that uh, Microsoft encourages, an underscore and then the name of the list. So I'll make a new and then I'll say just in two lines here that I add a new list of persons, which by the way, shouldn't be empty. So let's add a few persons here right away. But there is a but because I want to actually go in here to the person class and then I want to add at least, at least two properties. Now the one is say uh, I want to add an int of uh, ID there we go. So that's just going to be some kind of uh, ID for the person. Then I want another property and that's going to be a string and that's going to be name. Now I know this is very basic stuff, but you need to do it again and again just to get to know how to work with properties. So I write prop and then I just tab, prop, tab, and this comes up and I just auto populate the rest of it. Good. So now I have a person ready and I can create a few persons inside my person controllers guy here. Now look at this. This is actually cool. I can right after I removed, I removed the two parentheses here. And then I just add the curly bracket start in and then I can actually say new person. And I just put them in right here inside my code. That's pretty awesome. Now, I can do exactly the same for a person, just add an ID directly here. Let's make the first one equal one, and then a new guy and the name equals uh, Lars. That's a good name. <clears throat> there we go. And let's add just one more person just to have something to play around with. There we go. Just grab this. And he will be called Bob. And he will have ID number two. There we go. And then we can start talking about if the ID should be hidden from the world outside and stuff like that. Let's do that later. Not now. So now we have a list of persons, right? And um, let's try and actually print these persons. That's going to be the final thing for this. So what I want to do is when I call index, I don't want to only print out one person, I actually want to print down a list of person. So how should we do this? Well, the very simple solution is pretty much just to do it for each loop. So what I'll do is I'll do it for each loop. And here it'll say what do you want to put in here? And I say I want to add all my persons. And I want to I'm just pressing enter here, enter, 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 I'll just call it person. There we go. That's the for each loop. And then I want to add some kind of string here, string um, person list. I'll just make it empty in the beginning. Now, again, there's a lot of ways to do this. I showed you some of it already. But here there's one thing I want to add because what we're going to return here as a string is actually going to be not a normal string, it's going to be an HTML string. So we want to put in a break line. Now the tag for break line or new line is actually this bigger than lower than and then BR. So we're going to add that inside our string for each person. So let's just say person list. I know this is not the prettiest way to do it. But it's the way I'm going to do it now just to show you the syntax. So there we're going to add a new line for each person we see, right? And then for each person we see, we're also going to say persons list dot uh, add, and we're going to add the person's ID 
plus a small space here and then the person's name. Now that's a very basic implementation, but that's also what we want to do right now. So it's pretty simple. We're just going to add for each person we find its name as ID and a new line. And then we're done, right? So now when I print this the first time I run it, it should actually print out two persons. That's my goal at least. So now we've actually added some kind of multi-person <laughs> system here. And um, that's at least progress. Let's see if it works. So the page is up and running. Let's try and write slash persons to hit the index slash person. So we'll hit the index page here and hopefully it'll pop up with those two names. So now we have access to a, a small list. It's still just a list, but let's play around with that and add to the list in the next lesson. See you next time.